On today's video, I'll be discussing about postpartum depression and how I have been able to overcome it. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Echo Abigail and I am a nurse, of course, Nurse Abby. So if it's your first time stopping by, please do not make it your last by hitting on the subscribe button. I am a new mom and I currently have a three months old baby. So far, I haven't had or experienced postpartum depression and these are the tips or things that I have been doing in order not to experience it. What is postpartum depression to start with? From the word you already know, depression, depression, mm. Uh, when you you know you know feeling moody crying a lot not feeling yourself that's depression okay so uh, postpartum is after childbirth postpartum depression postpartum after childbirth after having your baby so by that time you're having either pains from your body or you're having insecurities like your floppy stomach or your breast fall your your falling heroes or just the fact that you have to take or nanny a baby because it's a great and huge journey it's not an easy one nobody told me this so all those things can contribute to you as a mom having postpartum depression and according to study or research it's been showing the higher risk of women that should experience postpartum depression are first-time moms and also women that are below the age of 25 these are people that are at higher risk to have postpartum depression and I fall between these two ranges so what are the things I have been able to do as you can see <laughs> this girl is glowing <laughs> this girl is glowing and looking good and as you can see I'm not depressed and I don't look it and I'm not gonna be even what have I been able to do okay before now knowing what postpartum depression is was the first thing I did for myself and it helped me a lot knowing it and stuck it in my brain during pregnancy I started praying number one tip I started praying I started praying about it I said committing committing it into the hands of God because anything you do in this life of course you have to commit in the hands of God anything I personally do I commit to the hands of God it's like madness for me yes everything I commit to the hands of God because it's the Lord that put that baby in my womb and he will be the one to bring that baby out and give me my life and give the baby his own life okay so I'm not gonna die for the baby and the baby is not gonna die for me of course, we're going to live and be happy because God has blessed me. So I committed in the hands of God for him to come and help me see me through all through pregnancy and make sure that I don't fall into postpartum depression while nursing my baby. Because this baby came for me and I am supposed to be happy and nurse him very well. So I prayed. That is the first tip. I prayed before, uh, before childbirth and I prayed after childbirth I continue praying against it so knowing what it is and stocking it in your brain is the second thing I did I stocked it in my brain I told my brain hey bro see this thing called postpartum depression is not for us and we are not gonna experience it you you hear me talk to that brain talk to yourself it listens if you is my baby crying okay now it listens anything you want your brain you want this body of yours to do talk to him he listens seriously I started talking to my brain like because I know I have tendency of falling into it if I allow myself because it's not like it won't come it will come up it will come and shake you especially the first one week two weeks of your life after bed ah it's gonna come here and the worst part of this postpartum depression is that it comes hand in hand with postpartum psychosis if you can fall into postpartum depression, hey, yeah, yeah, sit straight. Be very, very careful for postpartum psychosis. And postpartum psychosis is the worst of them all. That is when you can start having suicidal thoughts against yourself or against your baby, or you start hallucinating things that are not, that are never happening. All those things comes hand in hand with postpartum depression. But I'm not going to deviate from this video to discuss postpartum psychosis. I'm going to stay here uh, on postpartum depression and discuss it. So the second thing I did was to alert my brain about it and tell my brain, hey, bro, we're not going to experience this and we accepted. Me and my brain, we accepted that we're working hand in hand. Another tip I, I had done was having family members over. I had my sister, I had my other sister, I had my mom, I had my husband, and I had my brothers as well to come and go do. But in the same house, I had those four people to help me nurse the baby. My mom is going to take the baby's bath, like especially the first month of my life. 
after the baby my mom is gonna take the baby's bath i never i haven't even started batting my baby to be honest but my baby and my mom is gonna make food for me my sisters are gonna clean the house like everyone was just helping me i will just lie down there and recover and eat that's the only thing i do i do and my husband is gonna help me press hot water massage hot water on my tummy help me like massage me all these things help me give me my meds and help me like take me out another thing i did was to appreciate what god gave to me that is the gift of my baby like if you should understand that babies are a gift from god and you look forward especially if you prayed for it if you did not pray to have a baby and like it mistakenly enters oh my oh my oh my, oh my. but if you prayed for it and the baby is here already sisters can you appreciate god can you because now nah, it's not an easy thing it is not so i started appreciating god i like even if i'm stressed even if it wants to conquer my head like this i'll say no bro i prayed for this baby this is the baby i want because hmm, see if it's the people they say how they say it that when you appreciate having babies is at your old age stop making noise is at your old age that you appreciate having babies so sis it is a gift from god and i appreciate it this is another tip i use and it's helped me take good care of my baby and yes try to leave that bed try to leave that bed try to take your bath look good spray your perfume even if you're staying at home even if you're staying indoors spray your perfume that's what i do i look i try to look good like if you look good you feel good honestly that is the honest truth i try to get up from that bed take my bath even if i'm not feeling strong take my shower brush my teeth spray my perfume wear my the clothes i go out with because i don't know i no longer go out right i wear my clothes and feel good that's it as uh, like a very very big tip for this thing is try to be in a very happy environment because you yourself your body is already giving you sadness so if you now go and stay around negative people you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna lose your sense of street stress so please please nobody should stress you nobody no matter who the person is everyone should stay their own lane and make you happy that's what everyone should do for you everybody everybody including your gate man should make you happy so yes <laughs> so yes this has been what i have been doing and what have kept me going till this point and hopefully and we know we're gonna pass through all the stages soon so yes guys if you love videos like this please do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you want me to make more motherhood kind of videos i'll come here and tell you even when I was able to do the do after pregnancy and what the BJ area looks like after baby. I would let you know of all this. Just click on the like button and tell me, yeah, bro. Tell me, baby girl. Tell me, baby mama. Speak on. I'm going to speak on and I'll bring it your way. Love you all and see you guys in my next video. Mwah!